Today, I want to talk about how to prevent gimbal lock by setting a correct rotation order. I'm going to explain first what is gimbal lock, and second, what is rotation order, and then how to set a correct rotation order with an example. I'm going to put time code in description below, and we'll try to put annotation too, so you can start wherever you can start to watch wherever you want. And so, what is gimbal lock? It is basically a situation you lose a control of one axis. What do I mean by that? Here's an example. Um, set rotation and axis rotation, uh, axis orientation, and set to gimbal, right? And uh, I'm gonna move her shoulder and check this out. I'm moving here and see how x axis is moving along too, right? So I'm moving this and uh, check this out x axis and the axis are on the same spot, right? And now, say if I want to raise her arm up or down, I can't because I don't have X axis control. This is basically gimbal lock. And but, I mean, why you use gimbal from the get go, like here? Why, if you change gimbal to world? object we don't have any problem right see object now I have this access control and you know it looks like we have full control of three axes and actually we still have problem I'm gonna demonstrate that so let's say uh, you key here and then m move her arm up so basically this is uh, golden pose and what you expect is like this movement right this but if you actually scrub through see like weird thing happening like this is uh, I think it's easier to see. See, this is what this is not what you expected, right? This is not what I expected. What I expected is this, not this the kind of you know ma making arc. And the arc is good, but the problem is this is not what I expected. So why this is happening. If you look at the channel box here, see like all three values are changing. See? Yeah. Yeah. That's really bad. That's very bad. So this uh, simply means Mario trying to figure shit out behind the scene. So basically the problem here is that you you're in between will be something you are not expected and also 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 say you know you could do this in between right but still you have this weird like it's subtle but you still have this program and uh if you're an animator uh you're familiar with uh curve editor right so when you po polish or clean up, like it's busy visually, like you cannot tell what the fuck is going on. That's not what you want. What you want is much, much more like clean curve and a clean, I mean, a, a cleaner curve and a cleaner timeline. That's what you want. You want to avoid all those m messy shit, right? So, what we can do. Now, rotation order comes in. 
So go back here. Sure. So what is rotation order? Like the name suggests, it is order of rotations. And actually, there is a very nice article about the topic on riggingdojo.com. So I'm going to put the link in the description below, or annotation, or whatever. So I highly, 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 highly recommend to read that if you want to understand correctly. I'm going to give you my practical, air quoting, explanation. Um, you can check uh, which rotation order uh, currently set uh, inside attribute editor. And here, rotation order. And write down x, y, z, right? And then here, hear me out. Each letter affect the preceding letter or letters. I'm going to explain what it means. So my rotation order is now x, y, z, right? So x won't affect anything. And y affect x. And z affect x and y. That's what I mean. And this is basically what rotation order is. Which axes affect others. And I'm going to show you uh, visually. So again, X won't affect anything because before X, there is no letters, right? So when I move X, see, like, it just Z and Y stay in the same spot. And then if I touch Y, again, like I demonstrated before, since before y, there's x. So it, when I move y, like x is, like y affect x. And z affect x and y. See? So when I move uh, z, x and y is also, are also affected. That's what I mean. Uh, each letter, each letter affects the preceding letter or letters. That's what I mean. That's what I said. But you, you get the idea, right? So this is the most important part. Uh, you can actually change the order. Like, I, I suppose you guessed it, like here. And that's why it matters when it comes to avoiding gimbal lock and animating cleaner. So how we can determine which rotation order is the correct one? The most important thing is you need to know which axis you will use most of the time. And that will be changed case by case, shot by shot. So, and you have to set the order before you start to animate. You cannot change the order middle of your shot. So be careful about that. So here's an example. Uh, like I did, I want her, say, be, uh, simply, I'm gonna, I want to animate, uh, like, moving her arm, like this, this is what I want. So, in that case, what, like, which rotation there is be uh, correct one, or better one? Uh, okay. So, uh, since her uh, default pose is T-pose, right? I need to do this. But the problem is I don't have X-axis. Control of X-axis, right? So, which means uh, Y shouldn't affect X, right? So, I could use YZX for sure. Or, uh, YXZ, right? So let's stick with YZX. If I stick with YZX, so 
see and now check this out this is what i expected and pretty sure this is what you expected too and see how it's clean here timeline and also 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 here cover editor it's so clean this is what you want this is what i want and also uh like i suggest uh yxz is also fine see but the thing is see now y axis is touching z axis so if your shot is about raising her arm and uh, waving her arm like this this is not what you want that's what I said you need to know which axis you use most use most of the time and at this time in this particular case maybe you wanted to use a two so you need to be really smart about it because if I choose YZX I still have this right so that's what I mean by that. Okay, that's it. Uh, this is my take on uh, gimbal lock and the rotation, uh, and I hope uh, somewhat this was helpful uh, for you. I hope. So, thank you for listening. Until next time.